गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो फर्स्टली बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू दिस प्रॉब्लम इफ यू हैव बीन वॉचिंग आर वीडियोज फॉर द लास्ट वन मंथ जस्ट ट्राई दिस प्रॉब्लम इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व दिस जस्ट लेट मी डू इन द कमेंट्स बिलो you should be able to at least think okay maybe you think okay it's being applied here but i cannot think okay how should be implemented that can be possible but if you have been watching our video for the last one month you should be able to think which algorithm or which technique needs to be applied in this problem so yeah before further ado let's start with the problem itself the problem is saying maximum number of vowels in a substring of given length we are having a string and we are having an integer k which is the length we have to return the maximum number of vowels letters which is a e i o u in a substring of s basically substring is just a continuous part of a string length is defined as k so that substring should be of length k and we have to find in any such substring of length k what is the maximum number of vowels so one very normal thing which comes in our mind is that i can just go on to every of the substring of length k and find the number of vowels and whosoever is maximum i will just grab maximum number of vowels out, out of it but before that let's look at the example itself if what we are thinking actually is what the problem is saying because maybe you can actually misinterpret any of the words statement lines anything so that's the reason let's first see is it what we were seeing what we were saying that it would happen so i would just go on to every substring of length 3 and find okay what is the maximum number of vowels so i can easily see i have a substring i i i which is of length 3 and it has the maximum number of vowels answer should be 3 yeah it is in a e i o u maximum number uh, of vowels in a substring of length 2 is 2 it is a e e i i o and o u cool everyone two but because the limit was two uh, for lead code the length allowed is 3 for this 3 it is 2 for this 3 it is 2 for this 3 it is 1 for this 3 it is 1 for this 3 it is 1 for this 3 it is 2 so in total it is maximum of 2 okay what we got it is actually correct we actually need to just go on to all the substrings of size k and find the number of vowels and take the maximum out of it okay all the substrings which means if we just start from the first letter itself if we want to go to all substrings so it, it can start from the first index i equal to 0 then i equal to 1 then i equal to 2 then i equal to 3 then i equal to 4 and so on and so forth which means okay i have to go to all substrings all can be o of n substrings roughly cool substring of size k to evaluate that substring of size k it will take o of k time to find okay number of vowels in that substring of size k okay and take the maximum o of 1 so in total the operation would take o of n into k which is nothing but by the constraints n and k Both, it is n, it is k. Both are one e five, so it can be one e ten. One e ten. Ha 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 ha. This won't work. Let's see what we can do. If we just go into deep on what every substring is different of, which means if we take the first substring, then ultimately what my next operation was to grab the next substring, then to grab the next substring. What is the difference between the first substring and the next substring? Because ultimately, I have to go out, go on to every substring. So it is one operation I cannot reduce. It is one operation I cannot reduce. Okay, one thing I cannot reduce: substring of size k. To evaluate that substring of size k, it is taking o of k time. Maybe it is what I can reduce. Maybe not sure. Let's see. So what? If we can easily see those okay let's try to visualize and analyze how the substring is changing from okay first substring to to the next substring first substring is a b c as soon as i want to evaluate the next substring of same size size is k which which is fixed i fix the size let's see okay how it is happening then for the next substring of size k 
you saw what's happening. BC remains same. I just want to evaluate that substring. So for my substring, for my evaluation, now currently I need to evaluate ABC. As soon as the next element came, which means the next substring game, now I want to evaluate BCI. You saw what happened. I erased A, added an I. That is nothing but a sliding window approach. This approach where you erase one part and add another part in the same substring, it is called a sliding window, which means you have this window, you just slide it, slide it, slide it, slide it to evaluate the next substring. It is what we will apply in this problem that we just have, okay, A, B, C. I just evaluated one substring. Now to evaluate the next substring, I will just remove A, add I. To evaluate the next substring, I will remove B, add I. And so on and so forth. So basically to evaluate the next substring, what I am doing is, I am just removing one character rather than the whole substring itself. So the operation now will be of just O of 1. Because now I am just operating on one character itself and just removing that and adding one character. Removing one character, add, adding one character. That's the reason the complexity will be reduced to O of N only. Now let's see what will happen. For the substring of length 1 to 3, which means this substring part BCC, BCI, to, to evaluate this, Let's say I am at A, B, C, then I will just remove this A and add this I. That is what we saw. Okay, what we will do. Which means, now what operation I want to do was to count the number of vowels. So, what I can easily do is, if I am on this substring A, B, C, I have counted, okay, what is the number of vowels right now? Number of vowels right now is, let's say, number of vowels right now is 1. As soon as I add a new substring, new character, I just say, okay, hey, is this a vowel? Yeah, it is. So just add this. Okay, I have got one more vowel. So now, here it, it is evaluating this. But actually, I wanted to evaluate only BCI. So just check, okay, the last one which you are removing, the character which you are removing, is that a vowel also? If yes, then minus one, else, no worries, minus zero, it, it can also happen. But here it was minus one, thus the answer is one. So the number of vowels right now in this new substring, will be nothing but one. How? Adding a new character, if it's a vowel, so add it. Removing the new character, if it's a vowel, just subtract it. That is it. It is how you will find the number of vowels, which means current number of vowels in this current substring. If let's say you had the current number of vowels in the last substring as one. Now to evaluate the current number of vowels in the current substring, firstly, whatsoever last was having if the incoming element because your i is landing at here incoming element it is s of i if it is a vowel so just add a one for it and the outgoing element which is i minus k because your window length was k right this length was k so the element which is remaining is i minus k as simple as that if the i is 3 and your k was 3 the window size so i minus k is 0 3 minus a is 0. That is the reason you will just check. Okay, is that i minus k which I am removing right now, was it also a vowel? Yeah, it was. So just remove a 1. Thus, ultimately, your current number of vowels in this new window will be nothing but 1. That is how you will find an O of 1 operation for every of those substring. And as you have to go to every substring, so it is nothing but O of n. Now, let's see the code particularly. It's pretty easy. Firstly, I have this is vowels function which we have an incoming character and it will just say okay if it's a vowel or not you can also use an unordered set or anything like that because it's more or less same it is much more faster in python while this operation is faster in c plus plus and java like now what we have to do is i will have just one variable called as maximum vowels which will have the maximum number of vowels current number of vowels we will have okay for this window right here the current number of vowels is this much now I will just keep on going on my every of the substring. For this, I have to go to okay. The current number of vowels. Incoming element is S of I. If that incoming element is a vowel, so add a one for it. Because you will see, I'm returning a one if it's a vowel, I'm returning a zero if it's not a vowel. So right, if it's a vowel, just add a one for it because you have found one more vowel in your incoming substring. Okay, current number of vowels will increase by this. As soon as the window length exceeds k, which means initially what will happen is your 
A, B, C, D, E. So initially it will just go like this, go like this, go like this, go like this. As soon as it has reached, okay, this index, K is, here I is 2, here I is 1, here I is 0. As soon as it reached this particular K, because now your window size K was 3. As soon as it just goes this part, which is I equal to 3. Now you have to start evaluating the substrings. Because initially up till here you were evaluating one substring. But now it will be the new substring. So you have to remove this. As you are landing at i equal to 3. You have to now remove this a part. And you only have to evaluate the k length. That is the reason. As i exceeds my k. It is just the way to say okay. Now the new substring should start. You have to remove if s of i minus k was also a bubble and ultimately just check okay what is the maximum just update your maximum number of vowels so that you can get the maximum vowel out of all the substrings and ultimately return that maximum vowel complexity as i showed you as i'm going on to every substring and you find out number of vowels in every substring i'm just using o of one operation that's the reason the complexity is o of n space is nothing but o of one because we are using just only two variables current vowels and maximum vowels that's it code of c java and python is down below python is using an ordered set like a set for them which is a bit faster than using this operation of calling a function and all that stuff so yeah that that was all i hope that you guys liked it if you don't like it goodbye to you